Hey, what is going on you guys? So today we have a preserving video, not a usual tarantula video. So yeah, let's get this started. We've got my alcohol over here and we have my little praying mantis over here. It, it's not mine. It's actually a wild one. And I have it in soapy water because it's kind of hard. Like it's kind of solid because it's all dried up. So I thought maybe like a mold, it would like soften in soapy water. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be getting softer. It's really, really hard and dried up. So anyways, I have this bottle over here, which I will be preserving it in. I had this bottle in the soapy water because I want to get this tag off. So basically, I I can just like yeah i can just scrape it all off like this super easy when it's wet yep just like that give it a nice wash there we go super clean container very nice glass bottle just for the preserving let's just give this a wash because it's soapy water all right so now we're gonna get this spring mantis into here hopefully the legs don't break when i try to put it in because like i mentioned it is super dried up and very very crispy now i've had it in this water for about an hour and it doesn't seem to be helping much so yeah let's just give this a quick rinse Got to rinse off all the soap. Now, praying mantises is one insect that I am absolutely terrified of. You guys always wonder about that. Well, basically, it's because they pretty much just eat their prey alive. They hit first. Now, in this video, full credits to the creator, but this video, it doesn't show it eating the prey alive, but it shows it eating the hit first. So, yeah, that itself creeps me out. Like I mentioned, full credits to the creator of that video. So, yeah, guys, let's preserve this little... Uh, uh, praying mantis into this bottle here you can you can see it let me just pick it up so you guys can see it properly look at this guy this is some crazy looking creature like to be honest oh yeah I, this thing just gives me the creeps i mean look at the eyes that is like oh my gosh can you tell me that that's not creepy and look at those those front arms yo that is some badass looking thing so yeah that is why i am pretty much <laughs> afraid of this like if this thing flew onto me i'll probably have like a heart attack and faint or something but yeah anyways let's put it into here i'm not really sure of the gender i don't know anything about praying mantises now i have a syringe over here which i was planning to inject into the abdomen because it is dried up so when i put it into the alcohol it will probably float so i was planning to inject alcohol into the body itself to make it a little bit more heavy so it'll sink hopefully i don't know how that's gonna work out but yeah let me just open this alcohol okay so now i'm going to put it into this dish over here because if i pour it in here it's going to be all messy on the table so let's just pour it into here something like this okay now let's close it before it starts to evaporate now i'm gonna try to uh poke the abdomen with my syringe i'm not sure if that's going to work because it is super crispy but i mean let's let's give it a shot okay let's just get some alcohol into the syringe just suck it up like this yeah okay so there we go now i can probably uh just stab it in i guess let's let's see okay Wait, out of the way okay sorry guys if it's not focused let me just poke this in and no i can't seem to like um, wait, I need both hands for this. All right, so I had to hold the mantis with one hand and poke the syringe with the other. So now I'm just gonna inject the alcohol into the body capacity. You see, it is all, all right. So all the alcohol has gone in. All right, get off. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna just plop the little dude into this container over here. Hopefully the legs fit. Like, it doesn't look like it will fit. I'm not sure, but... Ooh, the alcohol is cold. But yeah, uh, the legs, to be honest, it might break. So... Dang it, man. Why why doesn't it, like, become softer when put in water? I don't know, but come on. I'm trying my best to not break the leg. All right. Looks like that bottom one is in. Yes. Okay, good. So now I'm going to have to bend this front ones. Okay, looking good so far. Yes. Okay, good. The legs didn't break. And then now, does this look like a good thumbnail? I have no idea. Check that out. That looks pretty cool, to be honest, and super scary and weird as well. But yeah, let's just push this little dude in. And hopefully these two arms at the front don't break because these are the most important icon of the uh, mantis. So come on. Yes. Sweet. All right, so now I can use this thing to just push it in. Oh, that looks creepy, man. All right, there we go. Yeah, this container is like perfect size for this little dude. That is awesome. So now all I got to do is get this and pour it into the container. Hopefully I don't spill. 
Ooh, there we go almost to the top now i just want to cover up to the head i don't want to like fill it up completely because i don't really have a lot of alcohol left and i may have to preserve more stuff in the future so yeah i'm gonna have to spare alcohol gonna have to use it wisely can't just waste it all right there we go yeah of course i had to fill it to the top <laughs> but yeah we have some excess over here which goes back into the container for future use there we go just plop the lid back and we're good to go okay that is pretty much it now i just close this thing and it should preserve and last a long time like literally years and years to come now i can observe this this praying mantis anytime i want and it looks awesome to be honest check that out it's like in the perfect position like how i wanted it to be so so that is awesome guys that'll be it for this video i hope you enjoyed this short little random video and yeah i think it looks pretty cool what you guys think let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video take care and as always have a good one yo peace and for those who think this is disrespectful or something like you should bury a dead animal, nah, dude. I mean, we all have different approaches with all these things. To me, I think this is really good because you get to preserve it and you get to observe the animal up close. And if anyone like comes over and is curious about praying mantis, I can literally show them this because a lot of people are actually scared of them, including me. So having to be able to look at it closely, I think it's very educational and you get to learn more about this species and you, i mean come on you get to look at it super close and super clearly i mean like how often do you actually get to see a prey mantis like this up close not very often so yeah having it preserved like this is i think it's it's pretty good and yeah it's going up with my other preserved specimens over here so yeah that'll be it peace again